G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Bit of a quick update here for you late on a Tuesday afternoon. My one working V490. I'm going to show you something. You see there, hardware power on. But I'm actually going to show you something because my one working V490 that had a bit of a tanty is no longer having a tanty. It's no longer throwing its hissy fit at me. Now I'm booting it at the moment. This is why I run a serial terminal on these units because even when they have a frame buffer you can't actually see what's going on and if you've got an error here in the initial post you're going to see it here before you see it on the monitor Now, I've put an OS on here. I'm not going to tell you what OS just yet. You'll probably work it out for yourselves. But I have put an OS on here. See there, it's checking the hardware and everything. This old laptop's actually proved to be a, a dream as a serial console. Better than lugging around a computer all the time. So basic memory test, you can see there the verbosity level is set to normal. The diag is set to minimum, which is all I really need. This is why with a Sun server, as I said, even when you have a frame buffer in it, you still need a console. Even if you have got the output set to the frame buffer, the initial power on it self-test is not going to come out on it. Testing the I.O. bridge now. Now, I can tell OBP to come out on the monitor if I want, but I would prefer it to come out here. Enabling our errors. Got to be honest with you, with the V490 running and the E server running, the workshop's starting to get a bit warm. So we now go back to OBP. You see that power on self test reset. enable the system bus now and then we start probing the memory. Initializing the boot memory, probing system devices. And now we come up to here. Screen's coming on, keyboard's being turned on. Okay. You see there. Sixteen gig of RAM. 
Ultra Spark Panthers, 4 plus, dual core, so I have eight 1.5 gig CPUs in this thing. And the camera's going to go out of focus here because it doesn't know what it's looking like. It redoes it. And open boot prom. Open BSD, I'm sorry. Now, I'm not going to tell you what open BSD I've put on this yet. But you can probably tell already. 6.1. Now, let me explain why I had to put 6.1 on this. Number one, I don't really need 6.2 considering what this is going to be. Number two, initially when I went to install 6.2 straight away, it couldn't see these fibre drives. Neither disc label or F-disc could see them. Now I will static this, but initially I can just leave it as that. Now this is just running in DB15, I don't need to run DVI at the moment. There's Zenodium. And I present you with OpenBSD 6.1 Net Control. So, what are we doing with this? This is going to be the head end to the entire operation here. Okay, this is going to be the entire Net Control unit with a little bit of file storage available on it. But this will end up controlling this. Both Domain A and Domain C will both be controlled via this thing. Okay, it's the easiest way I can do it. Can you see there? Console log for net control. So there is OpenBSD 6.1 on my beautiful V490 all up and running and running very well. And... Um, a little bit slow to um, activate there it goes okay let me do the password and we'll log in and here we are you see there So if we go there it is there, OpenBSD 6.1. Now, for those that are curious, am I gonna put 6.2 on this? Not yet. It's gonna be the head end. This definitely needs 6.2. Alright, this beast does. I don't know whether this is going to do it. Now, what we're going to, what I will do is we'll get this installed later in the week into the cabinet. We'll then put a GUI on it and um, probably just XFCE and uh, we'll go from there. And then X11 VNC and that way I can use this from the main computer to administer domains A and C to be really good. I may even put KDE on here, but uh, there we go. One working Sun Microsystems Sunfire V490.
Stick around, we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.